Hey everyone, this is Kat, and today I'm going to do how to manually go into your Sims Medieval file to change to enable your testing cheats. And when I say manually, I mean you will not be able to use the shortcut on the Sims Medieval folder at all to be able to do this. So you'll go down. This is on Windows 7. You'll click your Start menu. If you don't know what the Start menu is it's this button down here on the lo lower left hand side it looks like a little flag with a blue background but we're gonna click on that hit the name of your com uh, computer uh, which should be on the right hand side at the very top mine is gothic goddess we're gonna hit that and you'll see these icons over here on the left. We're going to click on Loco Disk C, which is my C drive. Go into, for me, since I have program files um, x86, we're going to go into there. If you don't have that, you'll more than likely find it in your program files. And then I'm going to go down to Electronic Arts, click on The Sims Medieval. Go into game data, shared, non-packaged, innies. And then we are going to cut this file out and paste it. When you get this, you'll need to provide administrator permission. Tell it to continue. You'll open it up. Your testing cheats enabled equals will actually be on zero. You want to change that to one. And make sure you do file something else real quick before you do all that right click it go down to properties and yours might actually have underneath attributes where it says read only you want to make sure that's unchecked and click OK so then double click on it change what you want go in file save as save it as the same name and then you may cut it back off your desktop and into your sims make sure you click continue alright so that is how you enable your testing cheats for sims medieval if you do not have the icon for sims medieval on your action bar I mean action bar. I don't know why I said that. Um <laughs> desktop. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I hope this video was of a big help to you. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask and I will be sure to answer them. If I find that I am getting the same question more than once, I will do another video for it. So Please feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know how you like the video. If this one was quite helpful to you. And feel free to like the video. Subscribe to my channel. That's. So. If. Uh, you know. Share the video. Tell all your friends about it. And. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And thank you for watching.